what is up party people welcome back to another video and in today's video we have the last of the series warlock best boy 3.0 build so without further ado we're gonna get straight into this so what we got here now this is going to be really interesting to talk about because i've been loving warlock this season and it's just, be, it's just, it's just gonna be great first off let's talk about the riff Healing, empowering, totally up to you. You can use whichever one you want. I like healing riff because I like healing back up when I'm weak. And I, I, it just works for what I like doing. You can do empowering if you want to do some weird builds and stuff. You know, same old, same old, do what you do. Buzz Glide, best jump. Period. It's the fastest. However, you can also use Blink. Blink is... the the <laughs> Even though people say it's ass... It's honestly not that bad. I recommend using Blink if you like it. I don't personally mess with Blink too often. If I play with Noah Warp, maybe, but normally I'm on Bus Clyde. The other two jumps, eh, if you want to, go for it, but I don't recommend. Just use Bus Clyde or Blink, preferably Bus Clyde. Your melee, can't change it, so, yeah. Axion. Now, this is, this, this is the interesting bit. I recommend Axion Bolt. Why? I'll get into that. Alternatives to Axion Board, you can use Vortex. Vortex is pretty good on Warlock. Depressor is always good. It's always a nice choice. If you want to do that, you can do that. Void Wall, sure. I don't recommend it though. Spike Nade, sure. I don't rec recommend it though. Scatter Grenade, actually it's not bad on Warlock. Once again, I don't recommend it though. <laughs> and Magnetic Grenade, isn't bad if you want to sure essentially you have axion vortex magnetic suppressors those are like your four main choices here right and i'll get into that why in a bit but first off axion ball i recommend axion ball strictly because it's just so good you throw the axion it forces your opponent to move the range on it is insane it forces them to move out from wherever they are whether that's behind a box, behind a corner or something. And if they don't, they get hit for like 100, maybe, sometimes maybe 80 to like 90 damage on the But like, they get hit for a decent chunk of their health. And once again, it forces them to move. If they don't move, then they get hit. And then you could just push them with your shotgun, push them with your fusion, push them with your sidearm, whatever you're using. You could just push them with it, right? It's just, it's great. If they do move, you can see them with whatever weapon you're using and shoot them while they're running from it. Now, let's talk about the aspects. Aspects. First off, we're going to go straight to Chaos Accelerant. This, 100%, if you're not using this, just use it. 100%, <laughs> this is probably the best aspect for Warlock. The other two, you could, you could change, they're interchangeable. You can do what you want. This is just kind of almost a must-have, in my opinion. The reason why, it allows you to overcharge your grenade, making it much more effective. What this means... So, if you're using a Vortex nade, Vortex, it will make the AoE, I believe it makes it a little bit bigger as well. It makes it bigger, makes it do a little bit more damage, and it lasts longer as well. Which is, you know, pretty solid, right? It makes it last longer. That's pretty fucking solid. <laughs> it allows you to kind of zone the area better. It's, it's pretty good, it's pretty good. I recommend it. Um, next you have Axiom Bolt. It gives it another Seeker. That's cool. That's whatever, really. It's, it's, it's kind of fine. It's kind. It's cool. Scatter grenade. It basically allows the um, scatter grenade to start tracking. And magnetic. It does some bl void blast. I don't really know what that actually does. I never tried it myself, so I can't tell you. But I'm sure it's pretty cool. Now, child of the old gods, void buddy. This bitch. This bitch right here. He's so fucking good but first let me go back down to devour the reason why i'm not using devour the reason why i don't recommend devour is because specifically in order to get devour to activate you kind of need to like well kill a target with any of your abilities which you're going to do relatively frequently on warlock devour is more in my opinion is more for like if you're just trying to slay out you're just kind of you're just trying to like vibe you're just trying to like play really fast you're trying to go for kill records stuff like that like if you're really just you know trying to vibe out and stuff for sure the vow is really good if you're trying to go for more of a consistent gameplay more of a 
Um, I'm just here to like. I'm not really here to like get a rerun. I'm not really here to get like a to get a 50 bomb. I'm not trying to do those things. I'm just trying to have a good gameplay, like good gameplay, good consistent gameplay. I recommend this. Mind you, you can still get 20 bombs with this easily. Like I get 20 bombs all the fucking time with this, right? Like I'm not saying I'm not saying you need this for 20 bombs and stuff. But if you're just trying to have consistent gameplay, I recommend Shadow of the Old Gods. Now let's get into what it does and why it's so good. You pop your rift, you get Void Buddy. Void Buddy stays with you for about 20 seconds, right? Once you shoot someone, Void Buddy goes and finds that bitch. He's like, I'm going to hunt that ass down. He goes and get him, right? Once he gets next to him or something, he starts, he has a giant AoE that basically sucks the life force out of anyone that steps into the AoE, hitting them for about 11 damage per tick. Now, the damage ain't that great. But he also does, though, is he also weakens them, meaning that they take more damage now. While they're inside the thing, it's two seconds. Once they leave out the, once they leave out the AOE, the two seconds runs down the timer. Right? One, two. So essentially, they, they get the weakened effect, meaning they take more damage. Cool. What else? Each time he hits them for the suck counter, <laughs> suck counter, each time he sucks them, um, you get grenade and melee energy back. Right, right. You get your grenade and your melee back. Okay. This is solid. If you kill someone who got like who's basically getting sucked by Void Buddy, you also get your rift back. <laughs> you can start. You kind of can see where this is going. You can do this. You pop your rift. Then you throw your grenade, or you throw the nade first, then pop your rift. Then you shoot him. Void Buddy goes and finds them, sucks them. You get your nades back. You get your melee back. You're getting your rift back when you kill him. It's really good. It's really, really good. Solid. Super solid. On top of all this, people don't know this, you can also use Void Buddy as a defensive barrier kind of thing. If you push up, they can actually shoot Void Buddy. Two things. If they're shooting Void Buddy, they're not shooting you. Meaning you can shoot them. Another thing. If you push up and Void Buddy's still there, you can use Void Buddy as a fucking shield. Oh, he, 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 you know, he's trying to shoot you with a fusion rifle or something? Stand in front of Void Buddy. Void Buddy will tank that fusion shot for you. And you'll live. And he will die because you'll kill him. Probably anyway. Now that that's done and over with, we talk about how good Void Buddy is. The fragments. This part took me a little... Well, this part didn't take that long to figure out, honestly. But this part. First off, because you're using this build... You want this. Void ability final blows causes targets to explode. You don't know how many doubles, triples, even a quad once I have gotten. Just because I do my Axion board at someone. Or because Void Buddy was sucking them and he ended up killing them. You don't know how many times this like just got me a guy got me some kills. Really solid. Leeching. Leeching. Solid, 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 solid. Get a melee kill, get your health back. Really solid. If, again, if you're not really being aggressive, you can use stuff like, once again, um, melee final blows give you uh, grenade energy, grenade final blows give you, or grenade hits give you uh, melee energy, or even dilation for the stat bonus. Hell, you can even use the little finisher one over here, just for the recovery. Not bad either. Um, lastly, remnants. Must have. Period. Axion. It makes it last longer. It make it last so long. Your Axion Bolt will start chasing them for like... Fucking... It feels like eternity. They can literally chase them from one side of the map to the other side of the map. You need this fragment on. I can't stress it. You need it. And if you're not using Axions, that's still fine. You can use Void Wall, um, Vortex, or even Spikes. That's fine. I don't recommend um, Spikes or Void Walls though, but you can use Vortex. <laughs> Between Vortex and Axion, those two be your top two choices when it comes down to Warlock. Because of Chaos Accelerant. You want to get the most out of your build. Now, that that's all done and over with, the Super. Personal preference. Okay? I don't personally like Nova Warp too much, so I don't really run Nova Warp. But if you like it, use it. The normal Nova Bomb, pretty solid. It's not bad. I don't really like it myself, but, you know, it's okay. I like Slova. So why I like Slova? You shoot the Nova Bomb, it's fucking giant, and it has little Seekers that pop out afterwards. The Seekers end up getting kills. I feel like it's just good for a fragging kind of thing. I don't know. I like Slova more than the other ones. So, 
But like I said, just post no preference. If you like no, if you like the normal Nova bomb, go for it. You like Slova, use it. You like Warb, use it. They're all pretty solid. Now let's get into the exotic choices. I'm gonna be honest, I didn't really try that many, but I can give you some recommendations that I probably think will be okay. So first off, Transversives, always a good option. You know, Luna factions. You probably could do something with Luna factions. Even if you are using healing rifts, probably could do something with them. I don't recommend it, but maybe. Um, I'm gonna be real. There's not that many options that I can think of off the top of my head. Aphidians is always good, but that's just for generic play. You could use Controverse Hole because you are charging grenade a lot, so you could do that too. It also gives you grenade energy back as well, so. That along with um, Void Buddy essentially means you will always have your grenade. Um, what else we got? Stag will be okay because you get the resist whenever you pop your rift, so that's not too bad. If you're using Blink, you can use Astros like Bus, not too bad. Um, let's go over in the collections and just look at some other exotics. Uh, what else we got here? Natural Act Sin, maybe because Void Kills will give you your abilities back, so. If you are using, if you're getting a lot of grenade kills, a lot of melee stuff and like that, and Void Buds getting kills, then I mean, you probably can get your, all your abilities back even quicker with this one. I don't recommend it, but it's probably not a bad choice, to be honest. Um, really just not too many options. Nothing Manacles if you do decide to use, um, Scatter Grenades. Nothing Manacles not a bad choice either. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna be honest. That's about all I got. If you want to be a troll, you can use Vespa. <laughs> Pop your rift, and then a shock and like you know, it's like a little shock wave that comes out, knocks you back. You can do some funny stuff with this, but there's not really too many like, in my opinion, good options with this. There's only like there's only like lots of neutral game stuff. So my overall recommendation: Transversives, period, Ophidians. That's about it, really. Again, if you want to be a meme or a troll or something, you use stuff like Chromatic Fire, but that's about all I got for you. Now, on to the weapons and stuff. I was rocking my Sinocopation 53, like, all week for Iron Banner. This thing is amazing, let me tell you. Fell Winters, because, you know, shotgun. And a rocket, because, you know, rocket. But... Obviously, if you want to use something else, you can use something else. Like I said in my previous videos, I change my loadout like every week. So I probably want to be using this next week. But, well, I guess when you see this video this week, <laughs> I want to be using this stuff. But, um, as for mods, same old, same old. Shotgun targeting, pause, all that bullshit because I'm using this stuff. I will say this though, because you are using Void and you are going to be using your grenade a lot. If you can somehow strap overload grenades on there, go for it. Only because it delays the, um, it delays, uh, essentially it delays your opponent's um, ability to get their energy back. It delays, like, them getting grenades, their melees, and all that stuff. It gets, it delays them getting those things back. You don't need it, but useful to have, I guess. Not really something that's important, though. Outside of that, for your build, I recommend 100 recurve, period. Like I said on previous videos, 100 recovers is like almost a must for PvP. Especially for Warlock, because it gets your rep back quicker. I recommend 100 Discipline, just so you can throw more nades. <laughs> That's just it, you just throw more grenades. As for everything else, Intellect, Strength, Mobility, do what you want. I, I like more Strength, because I don't really care for my Super too often. And at T5, I'm still getting two Supers a game. So, you know. Everything else I think is like up to you, like I said. But recovery, discipline is what I'll focus mostly. If you don't really want discipline, you could like maybe do like T5 strain, T5 discipline. If you want more intellect, you probably can make this like T100 or something. But just don't neglect discipline at least. Make sure this is at least maybe 5 or 6. But, yeah. That's basically it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I will say the coming weeks, I am thinking about making more videos again, two to three videos a week. I'm going to be doing some weapon reviews. 
talking about some of these weapons, showing some clips and stuff. I also might bring back some other old series, so look out for that. Thank you all for watching, and I hope this was helpful. And without further ado, I bid you all adieu. Take care, and peace. Bye-bye!